Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Arielle. I create mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs. So if that's the type of content you enjoy, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become a socialite. On a couple of my latest videos, I did ask you guys if you wanted to hear fragrance recommendations for the Sephora sale. The sale is quickly approaching. It starts on October 27th for Rouge members and it starts on October the 31st for VIB members and Insider members. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to start off with one of my newest favorites, actually. I got this for Mother's Day, and I've pretty much been wearing it every week since. And this is Burberry Her from Burberry. Now, I think Burberry Her is classified as like a fruity floral, but I would say this is a fruity musk. You guys, this has notes of strawberry, raspberry, and a ton. When I tell you a ton, it has so many fruity notes in here. And then it has like musk and a little bit of vanilla. And I want to say woodsy notes at the base but basically what I get is fruity notes and musk it seems to be evenly mixed of fruity notes and musk so if you're somebody who doesn't like musk you may not like this one but it's really pretty it's sweet it it projects probably like a moderate projection and it lasts all day long for this not to be a super expensive fragrance with inflation some of these fragrances are getting up there at the two almost the $200 range and this one you can get for around the $100 range so for that price to me this is super long lasting. This lasts all day long. Uh, Burberry Her, it's almost like a freshy in a sense, but not like a soapy fresh. Just sort of fresh and clean. Like I said, it gives strawberry vibes and musk. So the next fragrance got deleted, which is Burberry Her Elixir. It smells a lot like Burberry Her, except it's warmer and sweeter. It's a lot creamier. On the dry down, you smell the musk but the musk is not as intense as it is in the original Burberry Her. So if you feel like the original Burberry Her is too strong or too musky for you, you may like Burberry Her Elixir better. Next up is Burberry Goddess, which is classified as a warm and spicy gourmand. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all, this smells so super good. The hype, the hype is real on this one. Oh my gosh. So don't let the spicy part fool you. This isn't spicy like a spicy incense or oud or anything like that. Think like a soft cinnamon, even though it doesn't just give cinnamon, but you sm you smell a little bit of spice in there. Maybe it's like benzoin or something. There's a cinnamon-like quality to it, but this is a vanilla bomb. It smells very much vanillic. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla is what's in this. Think it has lavender in it as well but it's not a heavy lavender so if you're somebody who doesn't like lavender don't count this one out you may still like this one super pleasant very sweet if you like vanilla you'll probably love this if you've ever smelled Mon Guerlain from Guerlain you may love this because they're a little similar I don't think this one has an age on it it's not super young it's not very mature either you could definitely wear this as an everyday scent for sure it's just a very pretty 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 princess type smell super sophisticated too it smells expensive you could wear this one day or night just really pretty everyday wearable some people might feel like this is for the fall winter because of that warm vanillic aspect to it but i would wear it year round i wouldn't say this was casual but i wouldn't say that it's like super you know like something you would have to dress up for either super pretty though vanilla bomb next up is valentino donna born in roma y'all this is a beauty this is a pretty sweet ambery it's a mood to it really pretty fragrance I think it's classified as a warm floral it does have jasmine in it and bourbon vanilla it's a very modern edgy super sexy fragrance I don't feel like there's an age to this one any age will love this I know girls in their 20s that wear this and one of my clients is in her 60s and when she sat down one day I immediately knew that she had on Donna Born in Roma and it just worked with her so there's no age to this one it's just a really fun sexy cool girl scent I would call this you know how some scents are like a straight up pretty girl scent or the clean girl scents this is a cool girl scent but there's no age to it it's not super young but it's not mature either it's vanillic it's warm it's like a boozy vanilla though a little spicy but not really super sweet a little bit of a marshmallowy edge to it but slight this one's not casual but it's 
it's not dressy either. You could wear this as an everyday scent. You could wear this morning, noon, or night. It's just an all around scent, you guys. I love this one. And next we have Donna Born in Roma Intense. This is her big sister. So the difference between the Intense and the regular one is, this one's a little moodier. I would say this is a straight up nighttime scent. And this one isn't as young. I would say this may not be a young girl scent, although somebody in their 20s probably would like it. I would say this is like late 20s and up. It has an added note of benzoin in there. So it's a little bit spicier than the original. Like it has a little bit of a uh, cinnamon touch to it, like an undertone of it, not like strong cinnamon or anything like that. This one's a mood. It's gorgeous. It's it smells a lot like the original, don't get me wrong. So to be honest, and this is, some people may not agree with me, but I don't feel like you need both. I feel like they're close enough to where you don't need both. But this one's a little moodier. This one is sweeter. And this one's a little sexier too, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna quickly go over this one as well, but I do have a full review of this fragrance up. So you can go ahead and click on that link if you wanna check it out. I don't think this one is in stock, but it may be by the time the sale starts. But this is is another flanker of Donna Born in Roma and this is the pink PP version. Now you do smell the Donna, when you smell it, it does give you Donna Born in Roma, but the difference is this one's heavy on the orange blossom. This is an orange blossom vanilla scent. To me, this is the softest out of the three. This one would be the softest one. It's another one that you like the original that you can wear morning, noon, or night, but just so you know, it is an orange blossom bomb, has vanilla touches to it. It's sweet. Out of the three, I would say this is the most casual out of the three. Yeah, she's beautiful. This is the fun sister. Next up is YSL Libre. Now it did come, I had one of the small, I think this is like a seven ounce dabber. So I did transfer it into a spray bottle, but this is YSL Libre. This is rich y'all. This is all of the Libres to me gives rich auntie. This is super sophisticated. So YSL Libre is classified as a warm floral and y'all, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. She has notes of lavender, orange blossom, and musk, and it just smells very rich. This is something that you could wear during the day and at night as well, carry you through the whole entire day. A powerhouse, when you spray this, it commands attention, and they people are going to smell you feet away like she really projects and lasts all day long. Sweet, but not too sweet. Some people don't like it because of the jasmine, and some people feel like it's a little masculine. I don't get masculine at all, but she is commanding. Like this is a boss babe scent, super sophisticated and rich. Now Intense is a warm floral. She's a little deeper, more ambery and moody than the original Libre. All the Libres I would say is for like mid to late twenties and up. So pretty. You could probably wear this during the day, but it definitely gives nighttime to me. I will wear it during the day too. This would be super sexy at night, y'all. This is just a rich, warm, warm, a little floral, ambery scent and smells super sophisticated and rich. There's nothing casual about it. Next up is my favorite sister from the Libre line. And this is the newest one. No, this isn't the newest one. This is the third one that came out, which is the Libre Le Parfum. This is the softest sister. She's softer than the other two, sweeter, a little moodier, sexier than the other two. This one has an added note of saffron. So it smells very, very similar to the intense, but there's added saffron, which makes her a little moodier, a little sexier. Beautiful scent. This is another one that I feel like is more nighttime than anything. Super cozy and warm though. Ugh, smells so super expensive. So let's move on from the rich lady scents. <laughs> let's get a little bit more casual. This is Fame from Paco Rabanne. You guys have heard me talk about this so much if you've been on my channel for a while. I raved about this all spring and summer. Fame by Paco Rabanne is a sweet floral. She smells clean. She's a little warm, has notes of mango, jasmine, and a little vanillic, but I get like clean jasmine. To me, the mango smells like pineapple. I know some people feel like that's not a, you know, authentic mango. The mango smells like a pineapple to me, but it's sweet and so, so pretty. I'm not crazy about the bottles. I had, saw, I had seen this for a long time in the store and nothing about 
out the actual bottle made me want to smell it. But one day I picked it up and sprayed it on my hand and I was like, whoa, immediately I had to get this and I've been raving about it ever since. Very casual, something really fun for spring, summer, but you can wear it year round because it gives clean. She's really cute. Lasts about four hours or so before you have to respray, but she's really cute. This is another one that comes in one of those fragrance sets. I think the regular price of this one is around $100 or maybe $110. So if you have been wanting this or you want something a little bit more fun and upbeat and clean and, you know, just everyday sweet girl and you wanted this, I would get the set, pay $85 and then get whatever discount that you're going to get. So come out cheaper doing it that way than paying the $110, I want to say for this. Next up is Vanilla 28, y'all. <laughs> this is one that I'm late to the show. A lot of the socialites had been telling me about this and plus I had been obviously hearing about this everywhere. So this is Kaoli's Vanilla 28. This is a beautiful vanilla bomb. It has a little bit of a woodsy touch to it, a little bit of a spicy touch, but think super soft cinnamon, you know, like, but just a little bit, but more vanilla than anything. This is one of those pretty scents that I feel like it's casual, but you can wear it at night as well. It's soft, beautiful. I've been wearing this to bed a lot. This is one that you can layer with any other fragrances to bring out a little bit more of the sweetness in the fragrance or a little bit more vanilla in the fragrance. If you have any perfumes that you feel like are too masculine or strong for you, try layering it with Vanilla 28 just to soften it and make it a little bit more feminine. But this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. So, so pretty. So y'all, this is on my wish list. Actually, I do have the video coming up tomorrow of my wish list for the Sephora sale, but I'm either going to get this one or the next one that I want to tell you guys about. And so the next fragrance is actually another Le Parfum. It's the Black Opium Le Parfum. Y'all, it's another vanilla bomb. It smells super, super similar to van Vanilla 28, but it doesn't dry down as sugary sweet as Vanilla 28 does. To me, it's more of a linear vanilla. I do have a full review up of Black Opium Le Parfum if you want to click on that link right there to check it out. But it lasts longer than Vanilla 28 and it's not as sweet as Vanilla 28, but they are very similar. So I do have that one on the list, but I'm going between the two because Vanilla 28 is $125. I like how sweet it is, but Le Parfum, you get the same vibes, and but they have Le Parfum in one of those fragrance sets. So $85 with the discount, I'd end up paying around $67 for the one ounce. So versus the $125 for Vanilla 28. So you know, I'm just trying to weigh my options to see which one I want to do. So if you think Vanilla 28 is a little bit too sugary sweet, but you like vanilla, you might want to go with the Black Opium Le Parfum. And last, let's talk about Angel Share from Killian. Now, this is the most expensive fragrance that we talked about today. This one is, this one smells like apple juice. It smells like a little bit, it's a little boozy, it smells like cognac a little bit, a little vanilla. Super pretty, super refined. It smells like something you would wear to like a cigar lounge or something like that. Super moody, very beautiful, super different than anything I have in my collection. But the only thing about this is to me, this smells like a literal boozy apple pie, like literally like a boozy apple pie. So I don't wear this one too often. I got it because when I first smelled it, it was so beautiful, super, super beautiful. I had to have it. And so I got it. And then when I wore it, one time I realized Ariel you don't want to smell like a literal apple pie all day long this one's a beast it projects and it lasts all day long like the smell never really wears off so I'm literally smelling boozy apple pie all day long so even though it smells so so beautiful it's like a couple hours in I kind of get tired of smelling like a boozy apple pie so this is one that I layer as well so I'm going to try to get more use out of this during this fall and winter season but I think I'm going to layer her with the vanilla 28 from Kaoli just to kind of soften it up and it won't smell so much like a literal dessert. But if you don't mind those type of gourmands that smell that realistic, you will probably love this. There's a ton of other fragrances that I love at Sephora, but this video would be like an hour long if I went into that. So that's what I have for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If it was helpful, comment down below. Let me know if you currently own any of the fragrances I talked about or if it's on your wish list, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on them. Every single 
single fragrance that I mentioned today will be linked down below in the description box. So be sure to check that out. And thank you guys so much for those who do click on my links. That really, really helps to support my channel and it helps to create so many opportunities for me that you guys wouldn't even believe. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to come back, join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I feel the way you are You're too scared to show me love Cause too fresh with the scars What well, I don't have the answers